Hi everybody, I'm David and this is Freya. Hi. And today we're going to give you some quick tips on taking children's portraits with natural light and available light. So Freya, which lens are we going to use today? A 45mm 1.2. Excellent choice. So this is a great lens to use for things like this. Not only is it fantastic at 1.2 wide open, sucking loads of light into the lens, but it's also weather sealed and has a manual clutch. So follow us around our house as we get to it, taking some portraits. Okay, so I've got my 45mm 1.2 lens on my EM1 Mark III, and you can see here that I'm shooting wide open at f1.2, and with my exposure compensation, I've just dialed in a third of a stop extra just to make this portrait pop today. That should help you as well if you need a little bit more brightness. So let's have a quick look in the super control panel and you can see here I've got ISO auto, white balance set to auto as well. I'm going to shoot single autofocus with a single AF point too. More importantly from that AF point I'm going to be spot metering. Now usually I'm going to spot meter from the eye uh, or somewhere close to the eye to give me that really beautiful exposure for a face because I'm not that bothered about the exposure for the background. So spot metering from the AF point on most of the OMD models that's going to really help you with your portraits. Let's have a run around and take some pictures. So here's Freya looking out of the window. I think she spotted the postman and she always loves to get posts. So I thought I'd take an opportunity to shoot this one and make it a lovely black and white image with some really strong light coming through those shutter blinds. This is another great example of when kids want to show you things. So they'll look out the window, they'll point to things. They've usually got a really nice smile on their face. And again, just capture that eye really, really carefully. And probably one of the best tips for today's generation is use their devices against them. The iPad creates a lovely soft light when they're watching it, but I wouldn't encourage letting them see it this close for too long. So there you have it. A little bit of fun taking portraits around the house using available light wherever you've got it. Remember, if you're shooting kids' portraits, keep nice and low. We don't want to shoot from above and you'll get loads of great results out of that 45 1.2 and many other lenses in the Olympus range. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Stay safe and bye-bye for now. Bye.